All right, January 13th, 2021. We're going to talk about a lot of things today, the NHL being one of those, buying real estate without looking at it, another, and much, much more. This is Devin Group Now. All right, Devo, January 13th, you know what that means. One, there's a Christmas tree still behind you, awkward. Two, NHL, back in action, 5.30 tonight. It's a big deal. So you got to be home by 5.30, TV on. Penguins, uh, Flyers is the first game at 5.30. Which, by the way, Flyers are going to be real this year. Yep. I, I should know this. Do the Bees play tonight? No, tomorrow. Tomorrow, okay. So I won't be in front of the TV, but I'll hopefully catch the Well, I know game. where you're going with this, too, because I'm going to ask you quickly before we get into the real estate talk. Predictions for the season for the Boston Bruins. We could do an hour on this, by the way. No Krug, no Chara. That alone is an hour. But predictions for the season, I can see the look on your face, and I don't like where you're going with this. Kind of not feeling it. That's unbelievable. Not feeling it. Everybody in the world is feeling it, except for Devo. Hey, we'll see. I hope I'm wrong. Uh, and I hope the blue line proves itself, and there's a lot of you know, kind of unknown, not, not, not familiar faces and names. Sure. I hope they're right. I hope... Tuka and that whole situation on the back. Oh, that's fine. Tuka's fine. Charlie McAvoy, breakout season. All right. I'm Has to. Norris, he's at that mark, 200 games. I asked, look, I asked Mots about 200 games. That's the mark for a defenseman. Charlie McAvoy season, no question. Norris, beast win the cup. Guarantee it. Lock it in. <laughs> Name dropping. Awesome. All right. I'm going to wait for your expectation, your Stanley Cup pick till the end. So that's a little tease. That's what the pros do. About that. Okay. All right. Let's I go got one. In, yeah. Let's go into uh, buying real estate without looking at the home you're about to purchase. Because right now, pandemic going on, maybe people want to move across the country and be closer to family during all this stuff, whatever it may be. Talk to me about that process. That's something I personally can't see myself ever doing. But if there is a time to do it, now's the time to probably do it and be prepared to do so. What's interesting is I'm with you. I would have a hard time spending hundreds of thousands you know, of dollars. Some people spending millions and not seeing the property. However, you know, this thing has changed the game. Uh, we're actually dealing with a client right now who's in California, moving back to Boston and buying a home, uh, closing in the next few weeks. And the agent went through the home with the phone doing FaceTime. That's pretty Home wild. inspection happened. They were lucky to have family. I think the key is having people on the ground that you trust, yep. that you know. Yep. Um, and that can be the difference well, maker. Well, think about it. If you're perusing, I, my wife is always on Zillow looking for the next home and stuff like that. If you're perusing Zillow and you reach out to that, uh, to that home, you're probably just getting the listing agent, right? Right. So you need somebody to be on your squad as you go through the process if you're across the country trying to pull it off. It's another video. I mean, it was going into the whole thing about buyer's agent. You have to have a buyer's agent. Yep. It's a no-brainer. Uh, but in this case specifically, you really need to make sure you have somebody boots on the ground, in the home, on your side that can look and feel out the house. So you, question. You, you see the headline, you kind of react like, oh, wow, I would never do that. But you're going through it right now. Is, it, is the process like becoming more normalized? Obviously 2020 may have sped that up, but you're doing a deal right now. It can be done and it can be done the right way. Right, and I, and I think you will see more and more people doing it. I mean, once COVID passes, the only reason why that would happen is if somebody was out of state moving yep. and thought that, um, that they wanted to buy something quickly and couldn't get here. I think a lot of times, especially if pe people are moving from out of state, they wanna, learn about the neighborhood and and the town. Remember, it's not just buying a house, you're buying into an area. But if you're familiar with that area, yep. I guess it's okay. All right, all right, well, there's, uh, there's that. Then the other thing I wanted to get your uh, opinion on was obviously expectations for the year, because it's the first time we got together since the new year. What are your expectations for the mortgage market, if you want to go into the real estate market, but the mortgage market specifically with rates and all that, what are your expectations? I follow multiple analysts and everybody's saying that 2021 is going to be a great year for purchases. They're expecting them to be up anywhere between 10, you know, 15%, which is awesome. I think as we come through COVID, people are gonna be more apt to let people into their homes, uh, which will help with inventory because inventory remains to be a major issue. I mean, there's just there's nothing, nothing out there out right there, now. Yeah. It's kind of scary. Uh, I, I think, don't quote me on this, but I think it's we're at like all time lows for inventory. So we need more houses on the market. If you're thinking about selling in the next couple of years, now is a great time to sell and flipping into the interest rate side, 
everywhere you look, you're hearing all-time lows. And it's crazy because a lot of people, I took a call today with somebody saying, I just saw that rates hit all-time lows. The media is always going to be lagging in regards to the reports, and all-time lows has become a very broad you know, statement right now. Since last week, when the House and Senate were getting figured out in Georgia and all the political stuff going on, we actually have seen an increase in rates. We've lost about a quarter percent, maybe a little bit more in some situations over the past week. But big picture, I mean, we're still in the twos right now. Even if we go into what's forecasted, which is the low threes, it's amazing. It's wild. It, it's a wild, it's a great yeah. time to buy a home. I think in 2021, my thought is we're gonna trade somewhere between 275 and three and a half on a 30 year fixed. Uh, some think we're gonna go lower. Some people think that we might get up you know, into the high threes. I think we're gonna remain in that sweet spot, which is a tremendous place to be for everybody involved. And if you're looking on the refinance side, if you haven't done it yet, now's the time. A lot of people are cutting their term. If it's your forever home and you wanna eliminate the loan sooner than later, now's the time to do it. And also debt consolidation, home improvement. Uh, home improvement was crazy in 2020 because of people are, are creating home offices and home gyms and, yep. and but on the flip side, the cost of materials and stuff went up as well. Uh, so it should be interesting to see how that plays out in 2021. This is like a, a Paula over here who's recording with us. That's like an economic, a Devo economic forecast like I've never heard before, by the way. <laughs> I feel like I was just like it's a, been a, a CNBC interview or something like that. Uh, no, but I've worked with you long enough too. I mean, I hear you on the phone all the time. Rates are rates. They're, oh, to your point, all time woes, crazy low. Just get the deal done. You gotta work with somebody to get the deal done, right? Execution is key. Yep. And it's not a given in today's world. We I should do another show on that. I teed you up. Execution is key. Get the right team from all angles. All right, we'll wrap this up. Devin Group now. Before we go, I promise you, uh, Stanley Cup predictions. I'm going B's. Who are you going with? Rematch of 2011. If you're going B's, Vancouver Canucks. Wow. Peterson, Brock Besser, Hughes, added Nate Schmidt. Long time B, that's now on Vancouver, too. Um, was it L remember Louis Erickson? Louis Erickson, um, wow. But he's not going to be the reason why they forgot, win. Yeah. But no, I mean, that that. By that, the way, local team, connection. You're, you're playing to David Green right now. I can see you. You're like, what are we looking? You're going talking with our boy David, David Green. Green. Yeah. And his, and his brother does a phenomenal job coaching. Those guys are real. They're going to come out of nowhere. Bang out, Vancouver Canucks. I would give anything to even get the feeling like I was back in 2011, and I would love that rematch. That was the greatest night of my life. Hands down, the greatest right. night of my life. And if that does happen, I'm gonna jump back on the bees. That would be amazing. <laughs> you are gonna jump back on the bees. So I'm all in on the bees. He may not be. This is Devin Group now. We will talk to you next week. <laughs>